Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is the flip side. And I just want to say, first of all, I didn't think I would have any time to record any t at all during the next two weeks. But I had a little bit of free time right now, plus a little bit more on the weekends. And I figured, okay, what can I play? And the first thing that popped into my mind was SCP. I have no motive whatsoever today. I just want to sit down, play, and relax. So, relax. But yeah, I have no real aim. Just play around a little, really. And why are the arrows pointing out? Was that intentional? Or an accident? Hmm. Also, what's this picture supposed to be? Hmm. I'm just gonna load a save file because it refuses to create a new one. I swear. You know what? No box of horrors. Too many memory access violations for me. I don't wanna have to deal with that now. The Mewtwo DLC came out today, and since I registered both games with Club Nintendo, I actually got them for free, so that's pretty cool. I also got some of the costumes, so now I can play as Proto Man in Smash Bros. And Proto Man is better than Mega Man X. But what's even better than Proto Man is Proto Man with Dunban's head. Or maybe Link with Proto Man's helmet would be better. I don't know. Anyways, new game. Relax. This isn't the game that most people play to relax, now is it? <laughs> I just get a weird amusement out of it. It's fun. There's nothing wrong with that. I didn't want to be stressed out by Five Nights at Freddy's today. And I, I decided to test out Mewtwo a little bit. And he could potentially be my third in Dairy main. Whatever comes out, they're secondary. Actually, it'll be fourth once Lucas comes out. But I really like him, and I'm pretty good with him, too. There we go. Wait, why? Oh, you know why? Okay, I remember now. He can't move in this cutscene. But, like, he can't move. The thing is, though, if you go right up next to him, that someone just said hey where are you like I've heard that before but I always thought it was in my head but that's the third time I've heard it so I know there really is a guy saying hey where are you he's easy to deal with when he's in the middle of the room like that 
Unless I have a pretty good feeling that I know where the small testing room is. Also, I've never seen a map layout so strange. Whatever. Oh, wait, I'm five. I don't want to bother with uh, 914 too much. That was weird. But... We'll see. Yeah, he said it again. I swear. I'm not making this up. Someone's saying... He said it again! Teddy bear? No. I also remember when the guard in the elevator caused memory access violations. I can only play for about half an hour today, then I need to go somewhere. Let's see. Should I? It's beckoning me. There's really nothing there for me since I'm not going for 100%. Teddy bear! You never show up when I'm playing Box of Horrors. And yet, it is 1.0.6. You should be showing up. But I never get the achievement because for some reason he decides to never show up when I need him to. Ten forty eight is a is a designation way to say so. There are I only know of few SCPs that are in series two. I'm more like I'm one of those people who really prefers series one SCPs. Probably because I'm reading them in chronological order, that is. But still. Um ooh, but there is one series two SCP that I love. Has anyone else heard of SCP-1545? His name is Larry the Loving Llama, and he is freaking hilarious. Like, really, look up Larry the Loving Llama, SCP-1545. He's one of my favorites from Series 2, and I'm surprised he's not a joke SCP, like 173J or 500J. Speaking of which... One, four, eight, four. Okay, don't need to go through the maintenance tunnels now. That's good. That's always a good thing. Someone's freaking out. Okay, so it should be this way. Yep, here it is. Don't ask me how I knew that. I'm terrified of you. This is the part where you break through your glass. Really? Whatever you say. I'm still closing this. Oh, there he goes. And sometimes you can kill you through this wall. And don't say that, that was patched, because I had it happen to me in 1.0.5. Which was quite recent. And I just realized that this is 1.0.6. But. Smash Bros. just went into 1.0.6 today. The difference is 1.1 is coming out very soon. For containment. I don't know how soon. Could be a few months. But. Like, when it comes out, Containment Breach Run will come out. And I'll be giving my thoughts on the movie, but if it's free, like, I don't think the movie will be free to watch, but if it is, I'll be doing, like, a reaction, like, a live reaction video to it, but if it, if it's, like, money to see the movie, pay for it, then, uh, I won't be showing any footage of it other than just trailer footage, maybe some containment breach footage, because that would be illegal. Plus, people worked hard to make that movie, and I want to respect them and not upload any of it to YouTube, and preferably not get any copyright strikes. Shit, it's back here, isn't it?
Ah, I was right. It is here. Shit. Hello. Are you okay? Are you okay? That's the nicest thing he's ever said to me. I'll be doing a review of the movie when it comes out, unless I have to pay, like, but if it's free, then I'll probably be doing a reaction video. Don't you love it when that happens? 173 just spawns in an elevator, no warning. Yeah, I love it too. At least this isn't Keter. But that is. Get it? Because he's a Keter class, whatever. Yeah, I can't wait to see Containment Breach run. Jerkish today now, aren't we? Shh. Hey, my head landed on the head on the handrail. Oh, never mind. I didn't know that thing actually had a hitbox. What do you know? I didn't know I had a hitbox. That disappeared after I died. Ah, oh, not this glitch. There we go. Fixed it. I fixed the glitch. Every Don't worry, everybody. The glitch has been fixed. I mean, the guy was not fix it, but I did. Whatever. Enjoy Purgatory 173. That's right, I need a level 3, I forgot. What's this way? What? Oh, I'm an idiot. Just double checking to make sure I have the severed hand. There's a starting room to your right, and here's a corpse. 895 is close, isn't he? Or whatever the hell it is. What's this way? It's probably just another hallway. The hell? Oh no, I'm out. See ya! Enjoy hell. I won't be joining you. Also, for those of you who don't know, the gas does eventually kill you. You just have to be standing in it for a while. Okay, I remember this was 914. Perfect timing, too. My level two. Yeah, I decided I'd rather not risk the over 106. Let's see. No. Just one at a time. I've learned my lesson. For those of you who don't know, there's a glitch where to try to put more than one item on the floor in 914's uh, intake booth, then some items will just disappear and never come back for the rest of eternity. And I won't be needing this anymore. Or this. Gas 
gas mask, obviously. Um, very fine. Woohoo! Super gas mask! A million times more useful than the heavy gas mask, I'll tell you that much. For those of you who don't know what the heavy gas mask does, it gives you Im immunity to memetic effects and immunity to gas. The thing is, by that point of the game that you get it, you probably already have immunity to gas. And as for the immunity to memetic effects, like, I mean, to get the heavy gas mask, I obviously need a gas mask. And to get, and as for the memetic effects, if you can get, like, you see, to get a heavy gas mask, you need to put SCP-148 and a gas mask in together on very fine 3914. But to get it, you need to have SCP-148, which can only be found in 035's room. And you already need a level 5 key card to get in there. <laughs> Amiibo Space League. <laughs> Anyways. And... If you have a level 5 key card, you can get SCP-714 and upgrade your normal gas mask to a super gas mask so you can run forever, have an immunity to gas, and have your precious immunity to not only memetic effects, but also SCP-049, which makes the heavy gas mask completely useless. So I don't know why they even bothered putting it in the game, but I guess someone decided to do it, so see that, 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 that. It's just this. Also, I don't know what putting a severed hand on very fine does. I know putting it on one to one makes the hand black, but I don't know what. And obviously, rough and coarse destroy it, but I don't know what fine and very fine do. Okay. Don't need this. Don't need this. Don't need this. Let's do some quick rearranging. Oops. No, not the battery. Where'd it go? Wait, where'd my severed hand go? What? Where'd it go? Wait, it's all the way over there? What? That's weird. Let me pick it up. Thank you. Okay, so, level three. That. Navigator. Gas mask. First aid kit. Severed hand. 372's document. Okay, we're good to go, but just out of curiosity, I'm gonna see what this does. Maybe you can make it so it can open any door that requires fingerprint verification. You see here it's right. It's pointing inwards. What gives? Maybe now it'll open up anything. And you know what? Who cares? I'm gonna save. I don't care what that just that screwed me over, because guess what? This is a for fun let's play. And I'm getting closer to the beast. And 895. Oh! I'm sorry, I didn't see you there. How rude of me to not say hello. Well, goodbye. Anyways. What a jerk. Shall we? No, you know, I wonder, can one of three open this? Oh, what do you know? You know what that means? Give me my level five! 
Level five. Gimme. Yay. Obsolete. Good. Oh. Oh. Oh, if you, if you want more timing, you have to turn this back on. Is anyone out there? Anytime between when 106 appears and before the screen goes static. That's the timing if you wanted to know. know you messed up when SCP-106 starts coming for you. And this is the only time where the song Bump in the Night does not mean he's chasing you. Strangely enough. But it stops playing as soon as you leave. I thought he ate a level 4. I didn't know that you could get by with a level 3. So I guess you learn something new every day. See, even the games that you think you know, like the back of your hand, can still surprise you. Oh, you know what Rogalis could do? He could make it so that you need a level 4 to get through there, and you can get the level 4 from SCP-049's chamber. So yeah, for those of you who don't know, you can get two level 1s in the light containment zone, use them to get the level 2, then use the level 2 to get to 895's room. And in 895's room, you can get a level 3. Then you could go to 049's room and get a level 4. And then from there, you could use that to, like, if he raises security clearance for 106's room, he, then you can make it so that you can only use the level 4 that you get from 049's room to get to 106's room, recontain him, grab the level 5, and you can beat the game without ever going to SCP 914. See? All it has to. I mean, it's already possible you don't need 914, but, um, he can make it so that you have to actually go through 049's room instead of skipping him, like I like to do. Okay, just another end room. Ooh, let's test this out. Before, this severed hand could not open this door. Oh, baby! The very fine severed hand opens this door. See, kids, the more you know. Speaking of which, I should probably go and get SCP-714 now. This is a lot less exciting than I thought it would be. And I love how if you have a level 5 in a map, how quickly you can just run from one end of the facility to the other. You can just like breeze through this whole place in a matter of seconds. Ah, oh, here we go. And yes, my memory, my memory is that good. Next you have a photographic memory. How else could I remember that this was here? Didn't mean to close that. How else could I memorize so many lines of codes from some of my favorite video games? Also, if you're wearing SCP-714, you can read this book all day. Asthma? <laughs> Please. I'm not getting asthma. I had the ring on. Hooray for my magic effects. And just for the heck of it, 860. 
Yeah, you can tell I, would, I don't have asthma because I will be having the coughing fit of my life considering I only have two bars of stamina right now. <coughs> what? What are you talking about? No, game. No. No, that's a bad game. I had 714 on. Bad game. I'm almost reaching time, but I want to beat this game. You know what? Who, who cares if I'm going to be 10 minutes late? Nobody's going to care if I'm 10 minutes late. I'm going to beat this damn game in this session. Okay, now that I got that, we can head back to the entrance zone. Man, now it's real. Like, for those of you who don't know, for whatever reason, having the a snap ultimate out will make your screen darker. Combine that with a very annoying breathing, and you have, well, just very annoying in general. Which door? Okay, I'm taking this, so... It's like someone's been through here. Why are the doors open? No, the MTF couldn't have been... Oh, I was the idiot that went through here. What am I talking about? Take that off. Actually, put that back on. I hate just two bars of stamina and not being able to do anything about it. And in case of emergencies, that's gonna be like that. What emergencies? Who knows, who cares? Let's release 049. I heard a statue. You probably can't see anything. Don't worry, neither can I. Probably open this one first. What's the matter? You wanna touch me? <laughs> What's that gonna do? Well, technically, it could still kill me because 714 doesn't give me immunities to lethal chemicals. He's just choosing not to kill me right now. So yeah, 714, it gives you complete immunity to non-lethal chemicals, but if there's something lethal, it'll kill you anyways. So I could still die by 049's touch, he's just choosing not to kill me because he knows it will be a futile effort, because then he won't be able to operate on me while I'm wearing the ring. That doesn't make much sense though, considering he can take it off my finger after I die. Instead, he just uses a stand right next to me like an idiot for five seconds before deciding, maybe I should take the ring off his finger. Just maybe. But whatever, who cares. Flawed logic in my favor is good logic in my opinion. Ooh, and just because we can. Bong. And save. Doesn't he have a doesn't he have a cute little face? Okay. Oh, he's sad. Boy's so mad. His baby's sad. Directed right back by Sala's face. Poor oh, little baby. Let me through. Come on. I'm waiting on you. There we go. Well, hello 
down there. I don't know why that didn't count, nor do I care. Let me do it. Quit panting. I know I should just take off 714, but... Oops. That would've been bad. <laughs> Entrance zone. Never heard that sound effect before. Alright. I'm gonna try to find the, what's it called, the electrical center as fast as possible. Ooh, yes, yes, yes. I would like uh, to order something. In case of an emergency, since I didn't have time to pick up SCP-500. This will have to do. Alright, let's go. Dylan? Shut up. Oh, our buddy's not here. Strange. Didn't know that was a thing. Oh, I must look, but I mustn't. I must, I mustn't. That's SCP-07 Binds doing. I don't like you. Cowabunga. I feel better than ever. Okay, I know that they're coming that way, because they always proceed to the closest heavy containment zone checkpoint. So they're actually coming my way. So I need to go around them. And that means that gate A must be right through there, because they always come in through gate A. Oh, that's right, I forgot he can open and close doors. Alright, they're coming this way. When did you spawn there? Buddy, pal, colleague, I've, I've made that joke before. Okay, so the very fine fingerprint doesn't open up everything. What if 049 was on these stairs? That would be, like, horrifying, because I can't see anything right now. Okay, there should be another entrance zone checkpoint right here. Oh, no. Just a dead end. Oh, no. Wait, what? What? Oh, it's a room to oblivion. That's always nice. And for those of you who don't know, because you weren't listening to me two seconds ago, I, I'm i only keeping 714 on me because I don't want the 049 showing up. But 5131 seems to really love helping the spot me. No. Why are you going this way? Oh. <laughs> Idiots. Shit. Maybe I'm the idiot. I want to try this again, because maybe I can actually get out of this situation. No. What you gonna do about it? What are they doing? Goodbye. Bye. 
by the way, they actually can use SNAP ultimates to track me. So now that they know I'm here, well, expect a few more nasty surprises. Shut up, 079. I don't need your shit now. And of course, 066 just loves to be a pain. It's always gonna be in a corner. Shit. Not good, but I don't have a choice. I'm already 35 minutes in. They're gonna kill me for being late. But I need to do this. My pride depends on it. I'm having a harder time than I thought I would. I'm not gonna lie. Now that they have the SNAP ultimate they can, and they know I'm here, they can follow me to the end of the earth. Isn't that just lovely? But still, it's weird. Whenever they're close to a door, they always... For, the game forces it to stay open, so I don't know why it didn't open. Ah, the giant paper glitch. And exit. This isn't too far from where they were, so I'm not gonna save. And I'm not gonna run because they can hear my footsteps. And that guy killed himself. That lamp was 173. Don't judge me. It should be it after this next room. Yep. He went through the stairs. Uh, five one three one, I should say. Oh. I really should go. I don't want to be late, so I guess I'll continue this next time I have free time, probably on the weekends. So I'll see on the flip side.